Photo by Sean O'Connor The Verge A judge overseeing the lawsuit between Waymo and Uber has granted the Alphabet subsidiary's request for a delay in the trial. Waymo had requested more time to review a recently unsealed report detailing Uber's acquisition of the self-driving truck startup Auto. That report is now at the center of Waymo's allegations that Uber knowingly accepted stolen trade secrets to fuel its driverless car effort. The trial will now start December 4, and is expected to last a little over two weeks, though Judge William Alsop said he would ask the jury to keep the week of January 8 open as well, in case it runs long. New evidence continues to come to light. The delayed trial date was a win for Alphabet, which had sought more time to review new evidence. We welcome the court's ruling, a Waymo spokesperson said. Since filing this case, Waymo has confirmed that Uber acquired Anthony Lewandowski's company while knowing he had taken and retained massive amounts of confidential Waymo information, and we have uncovered significant evidence that Uber is in fact using Waymo trade secrets in its technology. New evidence continues to come to light through thousands of documents and hundreds of previously unexamined devices that defendants are only now turning over. We are reviewing these materials and look forward to presenting our case at trial. But in his ruling, Alsop seemed to suggest that Waymo may be disappointed by what it finds in the due diligence report that Uber had fought so hard to keep hidden. He suggests evidence stealing W period before Uber acquired Auto, including the Straws report, which dropped last night, won't be relevant. Arian Marshall at Iran Marshall October 3, 2017 An Uber spokesperson highlighted Alsop's misgivings. The court has made clear that Waymo's case is not what they hoped, and that more time will not change the hard fact that their trade secrets never came to Uber. The spokesperson said we're ready to go to trial now, and will be ready after this very brief continuance. To be sure, the report paints an unflattering picture of Uber, its former CEO Travis Kalanick, and Anthony Lewandowski, the self-driving car engineer whose decision to leave Google and found Auto, and then sell out to Uber, sparked this entire, sordid legal drama. As The Verge's Sarah Jung reported earlier the report describes, for instance, Uber employees caught in lies in their interviews with cybersecurity firm Straws investigators an elaborate saga around the surreptitious destruction of five disks of confidential information belonging to Google furtive text messages advising each other to delete message logs and search engine queries regarding how to secretly delete files Mac or can a MacBook be recovered after formatting the OS. But the fact that investigators discovered no evidence that Google confidential information retained or accessed by Lewandowski was transferred to Auto or anyone else could undercut Waymo's main charge of stolen trade secrets. Alsop correctly noted that in seeking to avoid the mandatory arbitration that would have resulted from a lawsuit against Lewandowski, Waymo raised the stakes and sued Uber instead. In other words, Uber ultimately may be able to avoid federal charges in this case, but Lewandowski, who has asserted his Fifth Amendment right to avoid self-incrimination, may not be as lucky. Alsip notes that Waymo sued Uber, not Lewandowski, to avoid mandatory arbitration, but seems to think their case against the man is stronger. Caroline Autonovan at Sia Donovan October 3, 2017